On Sunday, Ba invited Liz to join his family on a day trip to his home village, about 60 kilometers to the north of Hanoi. The village lies near the foot of a mountain and by a river. Many people go there on weekends to have a rest after a hard working week. The journey to the village is very interesting. People have the chance to travel between the green paddy fields and across a small bamboo forest before they reach a big old banyan tree at the entrance to the village. Liz met Ba's family at his house early in the morning, and after two hours traveling by bus, they reached the big old tree. Everyone felt tired and hungry, so they sat down under the tree and had a snack. After the meal, they started to walk into the village for about 30 minutes to visit Ba's uncle. Then they walked up the mountain to visit the shrine of a Vietnamese hero and enjoy the fresh air there. In the afternoon, they went boating in the river and had a picnic on the river bank before going home late in the evening. It was an enjoyable day. Liz took a lot of photos to show the trip to her parents. I wish I could visit your village again some day, Liz told Ba. You'll always be welcome here, Liz, Ba replied. On Sunday, Ba invited Liz to join his family on a day trip to his home village about 60 kilometers to the north of Hanoi. The village lies near the foot of a mountain and by a river. Many people go there on weekends to have a rest after a hard working week. The journey to the village is very interesting. People have the chance to travel between the green paddy fields and across a small bamboo forest before they reach a big old banyan tree at the entrance to the village. Liz met Ba's family at his house early in the morning, and after two hours traveling by bus, they reached the big old tree. Everyone felt tired and hungry, so they sat down under the tree and had a snack. After the meal, they started to walk into the village for about 30 minutes to visit Ba's uncle. Then they walked up the mountain to visit the shrine of a Vietnamese hero and enjoy the fresh air there. In the afternoon, they went boating in the river and had a picnic on the river bank before going home late in the evening. It was an enjoyable day. Liz took a lot of photos to show the trip to her parents. I wish I could visit your village again some day. Liz told Ba. You'll always be welcome here, Liz, Ba replied. Vung, a student from Ho Chi Minh City, is an exchange student in the USA. He is now living with the Parker family on a farm 100 kilometers outside Columbus, Ohio. He will stay there till the beginning of October. Mr. Parker grows maize on his farm, while Mrs. Parker works part-time at a grocery store in a nearby town. They have two children. Peter is the same age as Vung, and Sam is still in primary school. Since Vun arrived, he has been learning a lot about life on a farm. In the afternoon, as soon as he completes his homework, he feeds the chickens and collects their eggs. On weekends, if Mr. Parker is busy, the three boys help him on the farm. 
On Saturday afternoons, Peter plays baseball. The Parker family and Vung eat hamburgers or hot dogs while they watch Peter play. The Parkers are nice, so Vung feels like a member of their family. Vung, a student from Ho Chi Minh City, is an exchange student in the USA. He is now living with the Parker family on a farm 100 kilometers outside Columbus, Ohio. He will stay there till the beginning of October. Mr. Parker grows maize on his farm, while Mrs. Parker works part-time at a grocery store in a nearby town. They have two children. Peter is the same age as Vung, and Sam is still in primary school. Since Vun arrived, he has been learning a lot about life on a farm. In the afternoon, as soon as he completes his homework, he feeds the chickens and collects their eggs. On weekends, if Mr. Parker is busy, the three boys help him on the farm. On Saturday afternoons, Peter plays baseball. The Parker family and Vung eat hamburgers or hot dogs while they watch Peter play. The Parkers are nice, so Vung feels like a member of their family. Unit 3. A Trip to the Countryside 4. Listen. Page 25. Look at the map. Then listen to the trip to Ba's village. Match the places on the bus route with the letters on the map. Start at the arrow. At 6.30 in the morning, the bus collected Ba and his family from their home. After picking up everyone, the bus continued north on the highway number one. It crossed the Dragon Bridge and stopped at the gas station to get some more fuel. Then it left the highway and turns left onto a smaller road westward. This road ran between green paddy fields, so the people on the bus could see a lot of cows and buffaloes. The road ended before a big store beside a pond. Instead of turning left towards a small airport, the bus went in the opposite direction. It didn't stay on that road for very long, but turned left onto a road which went across a small bamboo forest. Finally, the bus dropped everyone at the parking lot, 10 meters from a big old banyan tree. It would park there and waited for people to come back in the evening. Four. Listen, page 25. Look at the map. Then listen to the trip to Ba's village. Match the places on the bus route with the letters on the map. Start at the arrow. At 6.30 in the morning, the bus collected Ba and his family from their home. After picking up everyone, the bus continued north on the highway number one. It crossed the Dragon Bridge and stopped at the gas station to get some more fuel. Then it left the highway and turns left onto a smaller road westward. This road ran between green paddy fields, so the people on the bus could see a lot of cows and buffaloes. The road ended before a big store beside a pond. Instead of turning left towards a small airport, the bus went in the opposite direction. It didn't stay on that road for very long, but turned left onto a road which went across a small bamboo forest. Finally, the bus dropped everyone at the parking lot, 10 meters from a big old banyan tree. It would park there and waited for people to come back in the evening. <laughs> 